Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson is also the chairman of the National Basketball Players Association and a former NBA All-Star. He joins us from inside Sacramento City Hall. Mayor Johnson, good morning. Thanks, Nora. Good morning. I, good morning. I know you have called for the toughest sanctions that are allowed, but what might those be? Uh, I think we're trying to get to the bottom of it. I mean, first of all, you know, we have to acknowledge that these comments were reprehensible and unacceptable. Uh, there's no place in the NBA league for these kind of comments. Uh, I had an emergency meeting with the Players Association uh, immediately. Uh, the executive committee weighed in, and in one word, the players feel outraged, outraged uh, by where we are today. And I had a private meeting with uh, Commissioner Adam Silver yesterday. Uh, we're going to continue to talk through the, uh, the coming days. But it's very clear that the players want swift and decisive action. They wanted an immediate investigation that's taken place. We want to authenticate the audio and to make sure that uh, Mr. Sterling is getting due process. But the players literally are outraged and fully engaged in this process. Would a suspension and a fine of Mr. Sterling, the owner, be enough? I think what the players feel very strongly is that they want to make sure that the most severe sanctions that are allowable under the NBA guidelines are what's taking place. The players want to know what those sanctions are. Certainly, it's got to be a stiff fine. Certainly, it's got to be a suspension. And we want to know what our other options are as it, terms to, as it, as it relates to uh, severe sanctions. Mr. Mayor, Donald Sterling is the longest tenured owner in the league. You played in the league when he was an owner. Some of this behavior is not new. We talked to someone yesterday who said that for a long time, people just turned a blind eye. W was that the case? I don't think that's the case, but one of the questions and concerns for the players, and they had me uh, share this with Commissioner Silver yesterday, was if he has a history uh, of these type of actions, why was he not sanctioned or why weren't there s significant consequences in the past? And that's something that the players want to know. I will tell you this, going forward, there'll be no player uh, current or in the future, soon to be, that will make a decision on whether or not they want to play uh, for the LA Clippers without knowing who this owner is. And I think that's very significant. And this is where uh, Commissioner Silver is going to have to weigh in, in my opinion, forcefully and quickly. Mr. Mayor, should Donald Sterling be an owner in the NBA? I will tell you what the players are saying today is they want the most severe penalty. They want to see what that looks like. And uh, there's a lot of players. You've heard LeBron James speak out. You've heard of Kobe Bryant, certainly the Players Association. They're all speaking out, and no one feels that he is deserving of being an NBA owner. They do not feel that he represents this family, this NBA family. It's a, it's a really strong sentiment right now. I think the players' emotions went from stunned to outraged to now saying we want to be less emotional, but we want swift action. And now I think players are at the point uh, of thinking of whether or not this person is fit to be an NBA owner, and that's certainly on their minds. Mr. Mayor, if you're a Clippers player right now, what do you do? If I'm a Clippers player, I'm going to say, number one, uh, we want aggressive action. Uh, the Players Association president is a Clipper, Chris Paul. He reached out to me. He said, look, Mayor, it's, it's severe, and we need to be aggressive to get to the bottom of this. Uh, number two, we're going to ask you, as the mayor of Sacramento, to help us navigate through this process. And then thirdly, we need to be able to worry about winning basketball games right now. And we're going to go on the court. We're going to band together as brothers uh, in this locker room to go out and play for our fans, to play for each other, and play for this league, and, and certainly represent that we can move forward. But they want swift and decisive action as well. Does Chris Paul want to play for this guy right now? I think it's a very difficult question. You hear Doc, Rever Doc Rivers, an African-American head coach, he's saying to himself, can I coach for this owner going forward? Certainly every player that plays for the Clippers right now is trying to figure out what that means. They want to focus right now on winning playoff games. They don't want this to be a distraction, to be a dark cloud that overshadows this unbelievable playoffs that we're all experiencing. But the Clippers, in silent protest yesterday, they wore a black band, they wore black socks, 
They turned their warm-up jerseys inside out, and their warm-ups they threw out half court in an act of solidarity. So this is an example where you see players that are saying, we are not going to be passive participants. We want to weigh in, and we want to be involved in the future of this league and certainly the decision that will go down as it relates to Mr. Sterling. All right. Mayor Kevin Johnson, good to see you. Thanks for joining us.